one of our dogs are going to give birth to puppies right now. And this time I'm going to bring you with me and I'm going to show you what happened and I'm going to try to explain what's going on. Normally Stina take care of this process, but now she's visited her family in the south. So me, Ida and the other dogs had to solve the problem by ourselves. And if something goes wrong, we have the veterinary in Yelavara. It's 100 kilometers north of us. That's just some hour in the car. Today is more or less 60, 63 days, 62, 63, 64 days since she started get mating with uh, Matai, who is a father. The pregnancy of a husky is very often 63 days. It sounds crazy, but when you're looking back, it's the date when they're mating and 63 days forward and then the puppies come. But what you normally do is that you're letting the female be together with the male for a longer time. And then you don't really know which day, which time they had sex was the time when they actually get pregnant. And that's the case right now. But it could be today, it could be tomorrow from the first time we saw them having... Um, Ida is super big and you can see how the puppy is moving around inside. Uh, it's difficult to film it, but uh, if I'm sitting here and looking, I see it uh, more or less all the time. Sometimes they're huge and it's few puppies and a lot of um, liquid, but other times it, it's more dry or smaller puppies and uh, a lot of puppies and the female wasn't so big. But uh, I don't think it's one, I think it's more. So what we're looking for right now is to see that the water is coming out of her. And we can actually see here over there that there is a little bit more wettish right now. It's something have coming out and it's not pee. And she's a little bit restless and she want to move around. So now I will give her some time and relax. And if nothing happened, I take her for a walk. Because if you walk her, um, the process start the process to push out the puppies start in her bod body but the puppies are on the way she's been walking around in the house and uh, peeing a little bit not much but small drips and we have been out for a walk and now when i go out with her i had to really look after her because Suddenly, it have happened before that they just stop and then a puppy falling out from them. So now any moment it can pop out the puppy. So I had to keep an eye on her all the time when she's outside or having her in a leash. It's also important to remember that your action give an impact on her. She read me a lot and if I get stressed, she gets stressed. So it's super important that you uh, keep your own calm, calm down yourself a little bit because it's stressful. Then will you come in? Puppy number one is out and it's always a little bit um, stressful to see how the female react because they taking with their big teeth around the puppy and lift it and then licking it clean and ooh, I always have the feeling oh shit I have seen when they have eating food when they have eating meat how they just squeeze it crunch it there is one thing I want it to do quite fast and that is start taking milk because when the pup is taking milk from the female that process in the female also create um, the work to push out the other ones faster. When you know that the first puppy start eating milk, you can relax a lot, but you still had to maintain and start looking after. From the water is going three to four hours until the first puppy should be out. If the puppy haven't come out after three, four hours, you should contact your veterinary and you should check with them at least. Um, I would have been waiting for four hours before I, I would be calling them uh, if the whole situation is normal. 
if there is something unnormal with the female that you can see that she's not giving this um, push, then I would contact uh, the veterinary already after three hours. Uh, for this time, it took two hours from water until first puppy. Now, one more came out here and I dry it and in the beginning when they come out, they are not moving at all. And then I take it out and I try to dry it. I, I, I'm not really soft with it. I really try to give massage until it starts moving. Look, look. Now it's breathing and it starts moving. Yeah. This one is really, look, <laughs> so, see, uh, it's also boy, it's only boys right now, a lot of energy, a lot of wheel, now we give it back to the mother. So now Ida start getting really tired and I'm also really tired. It's time to go to bed, but first of all, I had to uh, change everything in her bed, uh, change the towels and uh, change the paper under and everything. And then I had to bring Ida out for a shorter walk, maybe. It's... Um, Super nice because I think all over everything went super fine. Uh, it's still things that can happen, still things that can go wrong, still things that you had to monitor and uh, take care of. So Ida's actually licking on their stomach, licking on their backs, ass and, and so on and that's make them uh, the toilet thing start working then you you understand what i mean if you have other dogs in the same house where you have the puppies you should be aware that a female dog can actually come there and try to kill the puppies because that's their natural instinct killing puppies that are not uh, theirs puppies their puppies a male dog can start playing with the puppy and they can play quite rough and hurt the puppy of course it could also be that the female try to steal a puppy and in that way hurting them by accident. Our two border collies are, it's not the first litter they are around and uh, they are educated to be, to not go here. And when I go out with her, I never leave the border collie alone with the puppies. Never. Ida got the new bedding in her box and the puppies are fine. It looks just great. So time for sleeping now. I think she is super tired right now. So I continue filming tomorrow morning and a uh, little bit more. And then we see what's happening. See you later. Good night.
new day and uh, I have given Ida some food and uh, now I'm going to bring her outside. It's really nice because she haven't made toilet on the floor this night, so it's really nice. But it was really a few hours of sleeping for me because I was awake quite a long and uh, yeah. So now it's three weeks since the puppy came out and they're growing fast, I promise you that. They get more and more like real dogs, <laughs> even if they are really tiny. And one thing I haven't talked about is that one of the male puppy didn't made it. He came out with the ass first, the string uh, that supply him with blood, oxygen and blood from the mother was cutted and uh, the birth was probably going too slow and uh, yeah, he didn't made it. And uh, he maybe was dead already when he came out. I have no idea, really. And things like that can happen. And uh, I want to be honest and talk about things like this. But I hesitate a little bit because out there on the internet, there is a lot of people who believe that um, things always should be happy and successful and all animals always survive and that is not the truth the truth is that sometimes things goes wrong so we are happy having two healthy male guys and three healthy girls and uh, they're growing so fast really fast and now they have opened their eyes they start eating normal food and they are just cuter and cuter. Small terrorists start peeing and shitting all over the place, of course. The mother, Ida, make a great job to keep them clean. A really great job. She's an excellent mother. One more thing that I don't show you in the video is that two friends was here and helped me a little bit, Volker and Jasmine. Normally they work with the ambulance in Jokmok, driving ambulance. So I had two ambulance nurses uh, helping me and Ida with, with this. And thank you Volker and Jasmine. It was nice to have coffee with you and have help from you. It always feels a little bit better if you're not alone and Ida no Volker and Yasmin, so she wasn't stressed by them. You shouldn't bring an unknown person into the dog if it stresses the dog. So you must look at the dog. But in this case, Volker and Yasmin, they are used with our dogs and our dogs are used with them. So it was not a problem. If it's the first time you see videos with us, you can head over to our channel and there you find more content and more videos from our dog sled tours, from how we're training the sled dogs and so on. And then I see you next videos because we will continue making videos. See you later. Ciao.